Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Zoom today for the Zoom class. Today, our class will be Twina Technique with Essential Oil for Kids or Baby. So, may I know anyone here uh, have baby that are very young at uh, three months old? Younger than three months old? Okay, we're going to start soon, right? Okay, so let me intro myself. My name is Gwen. Okay, I'm a uh, certified essential oil specialist. I've been using essential oil for more than, more than six, six years. Okay, and I've um, been using doTERRA oils about uh, five years, around five years. Okay, so today we'll be talking about how we actually use essential oil to help our kids. Okay. Uh, for respiratory support and other other support use also. Okay, I'm a mother of two also. I have a, a, a 23 months old baby, okay, a toddler, and also a six years old uh, daughter. Okay, so today we'll actually uh, share with you how I actually use this uh, Twina technique to help my children uh, with some common, uh, uh, common flu, cough, and some other issue at home. Okay, you can actually practice uh, using the same technique at home uh, for your baby with the essential oil. Okay, all right. While your baby is only four months and three weeks old. Okay, okay, sure. I will cover more about the dilution, about uh, the cautious of using essential oil or so. Or your oil is five, oh, 10 months. So actually mostly are less than one year old. Yeah, okay, can. All right. Okay, we'll move. We're going to start our Zoom now. Okay, so if you have any question, feel free to ask in the, in the chat. All right. And I will try my best to answer every one of you. Okay, give me a while. Okay, let me see. Any more questions? Seven months, 20 months, or oh, 20 months. Okay, about the same as my boy. Okay, all right. Okay, can we will start now? All right, okay. Okay, I want to do a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor or nurse or any uh, medical profession. And we are not here to be claiming to be one of them. We are also not here to treat or diagnose anyone in the top. The information provided here are from experience and our team, you know, people that are around us, okay, or uh, in using doTERRA essential oil and also study, uh, actually from our studies and credible sources for information on essential oil and uh, related from Feel. Okay, we find that essential oil is very powerful and safe. Okay, and that is why we are here to share it with you. I hope today's session you also get to. Oh, you can hear me? Can you hear me or not? <laughs> can you hear me or not? Like sometimes somehow I was I was uh mute in a way. Can you hear me? Is there any session? Okay, can I? Uh? So, okay, uh, I'm not here. Okay, we find that essential oil is powerful and safe. That is why we are here to share it with you. Okay, uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask. Huh? All right. And I hope today the session will bring back a lot of knowledge for you, how you actually use uh, basic twin uh, to help your baby also. Okay. And uh, I believe uh, some of you actually went to uh, twin uh, in some other TCM that cost you a lot, right? Uh, actually, the, the technique that we actually can use it at home is actually very very simple just that we need to be patient as we are using natural uh natural plant with our resources so a lot of things we need times to to see result okay so we move on about give me a while okay let's watch this video why i choose doTERRA and what is about doTERRA okay how the oil the sourcing of the oil came from and how this company actually uh, provide the best oil in the world for us okay so let's watch this short video to have a better understanding give me a while Give me a while, ah. Uh. What happened? 
Okay, you all give me a while, huh? so sorry. Some technical issue. Give me a while, so sorry. Okay, so sorry. Okay, hopefully can play. Give me a while. Okay. Right from the beginning, having a completely pure essential oil was everything to us. Essential oils that you purchase on the open market today are either going to be synthetic or they're going to be engineered. Our focus was that you can't improve on Mother Nature and you shouldn't try. We knew that we had to find a better way. We had to ensure the purity, the potency of these essential oils coming from the plant. We had to make sure that we became the stewards of nature, that they became unchanged as nature produces them. It wasn't something that we just thought about that was clever or what would happen if we did this. We really felt like that this was a path that we needed to follow, we wanted to follow, but that was really needful in the marketplace. I had always been looking for more of a natural form of healthcare after I had kids because I was shocked at the lack of resources that there were as a parent. Every mom wants everything for their kids. So to have the trust in a product that's not only 100% safe, but 100% effective is, is priceless. We are interested in having the purest, most powerful, most potent, highest quality essential oils that you can have. But in the process, we're also very interested in doing good in the world. I realized that these oils have a mission that goes far beyond any of us. That they were put on this earth for a purpose, for our healing. It's an amazing vehicle that we have to allow individuals to recognize their value. So it's a whole lifestyle, a whole mindset. And I'm so grateful that I've started to shift to a healthier lifestyle. And having the essential oils, it's empowering. Physicians will become more and more aware of the therapeutic potency of these essential oils as we move toward the future of modern healthcare, we'll begin utilizing them in the clinical setting. That is what it's all about. It's not about personal wealth or personal achievements. There's something we can do here to help, to give back. No other industry has the ability to connect people together and provide an opportunity for them to help each other. Just this whole community that has come together. I knew deep in my heart that we could we could make something new and different with doTERRA and it would truly be something I would be proud of. I just think the whole planet is being lifted by this company and it makes it so easy to be passionate because I know that every step of the way, it's lifting someone, it's, good. it's blessing someone, it's a light to someone. Some people are asking the question, is the dream already done? And I think about that 
all the time. And I have to say, there has never been another time in the history of doTERRA where the dream has been more alive than it is now. What, what really needs to be understood is that our model is really focused on two things. It's focused on getting the best and helping the most. That's our goal, that's our objective, is to make everyone a better human being. With that, they start to dream again. They go out in the world, they do great things. Pretty soon, the impact is happening with millions of lives. Okay, so let's move on to the sharing part. Okay, sorry, I take up your uh, a bit of time. Okay, we'll move on. What is your main concern? Okay, I need to know what is our main concern. Okay, is it respiratory support or bruise immunity and uh, digestive support you are facing? All right, you can comment in the chat. If you are facing uh, one, you key one. If you are facing two, you key two. If you are facing three, you key three. All right. So I will cover a bit more, so can also help you to have a better understanding. I need to see the, the, the rate. One and three, respiratory. Oh, okay. Okay. One, respiratory. Okay, two. Okay, you know, uh, okay, I'm a mother of two, right? So actually, uh, very, very common, uh, we always send kids to childcare, okay? Or um, either one of them have to go childcare, then they actually caught uh, viruses coming back and actually the TT or the Mimi will actually have this uh, condition also. Yeah, long term. Okay. So, okay. Uh, let me share a bit more about myself. Why I actually get into doTERRA to actually use the oil, right? Uh, is when I had my when I had my first child, my girl actually always uh fall sick. She always have very weak respiratory support. And I actually use the oil and I can see really, very, very good, amazing result. Okay, by then follow up, then I slowly get to learn how to use twin R technique to actually help also a lot of mummies. Uh, with their kids uh, with uh, respiratory condition. I believe that's very common uh, worry is always uh, cough and flu, all right, fever. And some kids might have constipation issues when they start to have solid, all right? Okay, so I'll cover a bit uh, more about uh, respiratory today. Okay, why we use essential oil? Why I use essential oil? Because it's safe and natural. It is effective. It is cheaper than medicine. For me, when I my girl, uh, when during the time she often falls sick, right? Every time when I visit a PD, I actually spend around two hundred dollars. And imagine if you are visiting a PD, uh, per month you are visiting them maybe two or three times. How much you gonna spend? So, and, and all the medication you use, right, you will be always changing. You will not be using the same thing if, let's say, the condition never get better. But essential is different, okay? It's a few drops and just cost a little, okay? And you can use to boost your immunity for maintain, okay? So, I move on to understand, okay, there's three ways of using essential oil, which is aromatic. You can use uh, a few drops in a diffuser and diffuse it. Or you can drop a one or two drops on the palm, rub and inhale. Okay, so there's also tropical, okay, tropical, which is applying. You can always remember for children, right, you need to dilute the oil. We need to dilute essential oil with carrier oil before applying on younger children. Okay, no matter how old they are, okay, have to dilute. It's a must. Okay, then internally, you can actually drop the oil in a veggie cap or uh, in a cup of water. And this is only for adults, okay? For adults use, uh, children cannot do that. So there's three ways of how we actually use essential oil, okay? So what is the proper dilution? Dilution is always the very, very important key point that we, ne we need to know, okay? Oils are very potent, a little goes a long way. Okay, many essential oil require, okay, request uh, dilution even for adults. 
Okay, it is best to dilute one drop of essential oil to at least five drops of carrier oil for children. But if you are using some oils that are called hot oil, okay, like example, uh, oregano, thyme, tea tree, clove, uh, no, uh, oregano, okay, uh, thyme, on guard, clove, all this oil have to be heavily, heavily dilute, which is you have to use one drop of essential oil at at least eight to nine drops of carrier oil. Okay, this one you have to take note. So when always trying a new oil, right, always do a patch test at the wrist, okay, which is the wrist area here. Why? Because wrist area, right, around this area, the skins are very thin. If you have any allergy or any sensitive, right, you will actually show the reaction within 20 to one hour. Okay, 20 minutes to one hour time, you, will you actually will reflect. Some, they will actually reflect it immediately. Some might, uh, some will actually take some time. All right. So remember, when you are trying something new, okay, apply on the wrist area and do a patch test. Okay, patch test is always recommend for those people who have very sensitive skin. Okay, kids are very sensitive with uh, skin or eczema condition. Always, always do a patch test before using it. Okay. So let's move on. Okay, let's start our first oil talking about lavender. Okay, lavender is well known to be used for relaxing, uh, calming, you know. So, but it can be used for other conditions also, which is it helps to ease feeling of tension and also smooth occasion skin irritation. Example, babies are having rashes, okay, and cuts or maybe uh, some redness or heat rash, you can actually use lavender to apply on the affected area, okay. And if let's say you have uh, cuts or bleeding, you also can use lavender to, calm, uh, to stop the bleeding too. Okay, it promotes a calming and relaxing mood. Okay, why today Twina I was talking about lavender? Because the first step of uh, Twina right, will be the, the opening opening of how you actually uh, welcome the, the stroke to, uh, to, to accept the, the Twina step. Okay, okay, so we'll move on to the next which is the first twin last step, which is the Kai Tian Men. So how I actually use uh, essential oil to do with this step is I actually use lavender to apply on my forehead, on my children's forehead area. Okay, so what I do is I always do this stroke. Okay, you can see, okay, step one, coming the spirit, all right, which is the, the, the this step disperse the wind and release heat headaches and calm the heart shen and nervous system okay open the uh, heavily door tian men right press upwards okay using the thumb press upwards between the eyebrow to the hairline which is here okay okay around 30 to 50 times for a stronger effect press for press from between the eyebrow to a point mid meet this area, okay, to the Bai Hua, this area, okay, keep doing this, okay, for 30 to 50 times. Okay, I remember that's one night, my six years old uh, girl, she actually uh, wake me up. She just suddenly wake up and tell me, I cannot sleep. I don't know why I cannot sleep. I just feel that uh, very frustration. I cannot sleep well. So what I do is uh, actually wake up and actually take uh, lavender and some other uh, calming oil. Okay. Then what I do, I actually do this uh, twin now for her. So I, I just get her to uh, lie down. So I just do this. Okay. Forehead. Okay. From this part to this part. Keep doing this upwards. 30 to 50 times and I do this also. Okay, eyebrow from the, the, the front to the tail. Okay, do this. Okay, this sheer way. Keep doing that 30 to 50 times, softly, relaxing, you know, to calm her, 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 her calm her down. And amazingly, you actually uh, sleep back around five to 10 minutes time. So if uh, children are having this uh, calming issue, right, you can use this method to calm the kids also. Okay. Yes, it's okay to use it for five months old baby. No problem. Can can just softly do it. You know, softly do it. If baby has sleeping issue, right? You can do it all the time and also apply some oils under the sole, right? And do a, a upwards massage or so. Okay, it can helps the baby a lot and apply at the back of the ear. Okay, so we'll move on to the next. Okay, 
Okay, now we are going to share, uh, talk about booster, which is the immunity booster oil. Okay, Onga is one of the very powerful uh, antibacterial, antifungus, antiviral use. Okay, you can use daily to support healthy immune, uh, immune function, protects against environment threat, and also clean surface and purify the skin to promote healthy circulation. For me, right, I actually, uh, for me, I use Onga every day, every day for my two kids. Okay, one of them actually attend kindergarten and the other one haven't actually go to any school yet. To boost their immunity, I always make sure that I apply immune, uh, on guard for them at least three to four times a day, okay, to boost their immunity or uh, prevent potentially prevent them to caught any viruses from others. Okay, this is a very, very good oil. You can diffuse, you can actually apply also. Okay, it's not just only for diffusing and apply, it can be also used for other uh, uh, way like adding into your hand standardizer to have enhance the, the antibacterial use. Okay, so let's watch this short video to have a better understanding what on guard uh, they have the product. Okay, again, the video, <laughs> I think has some problem. Okay, so uh, maybe we will just skip this. Okay, we will just skip. Actually, it's a video about uh, all the on guards product that we have. Okay, we have the hand standardizer, we have the laundry detergent, we have a lot and even toothpaste. And you know, even my 23 months old baby, right, is using on guard toothpaste. And uh, it's all natural. You don't have to worry that uh, uh, will he solo with any uh, chemical? No. Okay, so don't have to worry. Okay, we'll move on to the next, which is the Bruce Immunity System part. How we actually use Ongat to uh, tween our kids to boost their immunity. Okay, do you know actually the back side, right? Have this two, the flesh. You just pull up the skin, fold up the skin. Okay, and gently push up all the way to the shoulder area. Okay, you can see the, the flesh, you just slowly push. It's not pain, right? it's not pain for them. So what you do is just apply Okay, a few row of on guard. Okay, and you slightly spread it well. Then you fold up the, the backside, you know, the skin around there. Then you slowly push it up. Okay, you do this method, right? You can actually boost their immunity. Uh, you can do it five times a day. But for me, right, uh, I will actually uh, massage them every uh, like uh, morning and the night. I will do this. Okay, I will do this every day. Okay, to boost their immunity. Okay, so start from the bottom, remember, then slowly fold up. Okay, do this five times. Okay, five times. You can do more than that, no problem. <laughs> Did this for you also. Uh. Very short, actually, it's very calming. You can see the kids actually enjoying the twin. Uh. Yeah, is it? Yes, it's okay to do for five months old. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move on. Uh. Remember, this is a daily uh, uh, way of boosting immunity. So it's fine to do this three now daily. Okay, it's a very, very good step and uh, way of helping our baby. Okay, so we move on to the next. Okay, let's talk about respiratory. Okay, anybody baby will always have blocked nose, coughing and running nose and you find that uh, you always feel very worried that oh, you have to bring the baby to the PD and check. Yeah, okay. When I was the first time mommy, I always have this problem, a bit of uh, running nose, block nose, but my girl, her case was really, really bad. Okay, uh, because of brief, right? That is why uh, actually I bring me, bring me into doTERRA to even explore even more oils to help more people and myself and my family also. So brief is also one of the very good oil that actually can be used for respiratory, uh, can be used for respiratory. Okay, it can be used for sinus, Okay, coughing and also open up airway. Okay, so during this hot weather, uh, seasonal track is always like, you know, you can get and fall sick easily because of the weather changing. So what I do is I always make sure that I apply brief on the uh, chest area for my kids. Okay, and the sole before going out. Okay, it promotes a refuse night sleep, helps to minimize the effect of seasonal track, maintain feelings of uh, clear airway and easy breathing. So when nighttime you feel that baby is having a uh, very hard to sleep, right? What you can do is you can rub some, okay, and actually do a, a massage on the chest for them, 
okay and if let's say the nose was very blocked okay you know that the nose was very blocked we can use uh, roll slightly a bit but just please avoid the eye area you just apply some on the nose bridge area okay and do this rub down okay maybe if the baby is fine for you to do the massage you can actually do this rub down around 30 times to 50 times okay but older kids you actually can massage them more time twin them more time then after where the end right you press this two share way these two point okay around 20 seconds and you let go and repeat the same all right just gently press for baby younger baby just gently press will do don't have to press very hard ah. okay so just do this rub down rub down and eventually you will slowly see that uh you helps them to breathe better okay especially during the night okay then don't let baby sleep face up okay when they are blocked right you they couldn't sleep face up there's a lot of uh, mummies they have actually uh, missed take uh, the way of how to actually help their baby uh, to sleep better when they are having blocked nose. So always sleep the side way, okay? So that they will don't, don't feel blocked, okay? The flow will be better. So these are also the way for running nose and blocked nose, massage the yin xiang, okay? Which is the treat for three minutes. So this part, right? Circulate massage, circulate massage here, which is I say, you know, this area, circulate massage for three minutes. Okay, which is you can apply some breath on it, okay, to help to assist uh, the, the unblock. Okay, then tai, tai yang xue, you know, tai yang xue is very common. So what you do is you can actually apply some uh, breath on this area, which is just now the kai tian men, right? Apply this area and this area, okay, then you do this kai, kai, uh, the, the tai yang xue massage, okay, for one minute. Okay, for one minute. Then after that, following by the chest apply, okay, for respiratory, which is blocked nose and running nose. Okay, clear, very clear. So far, okay. <laughs> Any response? <laughs> okay, I hope it's clear to, to let you all know the steps very clearly. Yeah, uh, because wow, well, I, I, I find that it's really very good for the, the technique. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. I thank you, thank you, thank you for all the response. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what you do, right? Okay, I will show you again. So what you do is I always uh baby or toddler having any running nose, right? Just apply here. Okay, you can do this stroke 30 to 50 times, then you press this share way and hold for 20 seconds. Okay, then you can do this step, okay, which is the yin xiang step, right? Uh, 30 to, uh, for three minutes, uh, but some baby, they will not let you do for three minutes, but if can, you do three minutes. Then circulate, 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 you know, three minutes. Then there's one uh, way that you can actually uh, get your baby to actually uh, enjoy the massage, right? The twin, uh, right? You talk to the baby when you do it. Like, you see, oh, uh, you can sing some song or you can do something for them okay to distract them then you do uh, some massage on them okay for me i will talk i will always talk and say oh what i want to them then they will like listen to you at the same time they also enjoy the massage the twin uh, okay so tai yang xue okay 30 to 50 times then after that you stop all right yeah <laughs> Okay, so we'll move on, which is the strengthening. Okay, these are the very, very important part, which is you can do it daily if your kids have very weak respiratory, very weak lungs, okay? Bongaitis, all these, you can go for this twina, okay? What you do is you can apply brief, okay? Layer it with frankincense, okay? Frankincense is one of the very good oil to enhance and actually repair and renew our cells. You can actually add in together to use it with brief, okay? So what you do is you can see, okay? Regular uh, lungs tea. Open the, the chest and regular tea, uh, the, the lungs, okay? So press outwards. You can see the 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 the, <laughs> the chest area, right? Which is when you press, right? There's a bone down there, so you can actually do this upwards, okay? On the chest area, you can see from the picture very clearly. So what you do is you can actually do this 
between the nipple to the side of the chest 30 times. Okay, do this 30 times to strengthen your lungs daily just by applying brief and frankincense if you have. If you don't have brief, it's okay. All right, you can do this for them. Okay, you can do it uh, two, two times a day or one times a day is really very good. So you can see the regular tea, right, for uh, strengthen the lungs, right, on the back. Use your thumb to press the skin downwards along the uh, border of the, the back. Okay, how you actually find this part, right, is the chicken wing area. <laughs> Okay, I call this chicken wing area. So when you you when you you when you face down, right, you can see the, the chicken wing area, you just slightly stroke down, okay, downwards three, 30 times. Okay. Uh, apply some brief oil, then you do this 30 times to strengthen your lungs. Okay, if your kids always have respiratory issue and you want to help them to uh, strengthen their lungs and their tea, right, from their, their lungs. Do this every day, it's fine. Okay, uh, can use it with brief daily. Okay, all right, clear? Clear, okay. So we'll move on. Anything you all want to ask, can ask. Huh? Okay, move on. So, oils for tummy care. Anyone, the baby actually having colleagues issue, uh, night time always have discomfort uh, tummy you know always cry during the night couldn't sleep well then um, after, uh, appetite was not really good anyone baby is here having this problem you can type in the chat okay cough until vomit nah. okay how old is your son Tisa uh, Tis even at three years old, cough until vomit is because of coughing. That is why always vomiting, right? Started since one. Yeah, always cough all the time. Then I think brief really you need to use brief oil. Okay, any any other uh baby having uh, con uh constipation? Anyone constipation? Anyone here? Any uh having babies having constipation condition? You okay, okay, Timothy. Yeah, one year old having constipation. Well, actually, quite a number of you actually have constipation issue. Huh? Always, uh, okay, okay. Actually, I, I share with you one, uh, one, one, one story. Uh. Actually, my girl, when she start to have uh, toilet training, right, the potty training, she actually uh, sudden have this uh, very serious constipation issue. Okay, and I uh, actually went to see doctors. So many doctors keep telling me, hey, you have to give her the, the medication to soften her stool, which is I actually don't really go, uh, don't really like to because it will become, the body will rely on it. Okay, it will rely. Okay, so uh, after that, uh, I, I try use digestion to apply for her. Okay, for my own experience, it doesn't, uh, for her, her condition, it doesn't work so uh, well for digestion. But, okay, that's one oil. It's very good that actually helps her with the constipation. And she actually, every time when she has constipation, I apply for her. Within five minutes, she will actually release herself. Okay, and she always, until now, she's already six and she don't have this problem, but she always would tell me that, oh, mommy, I need the ginger oil. Yeah, ginger oil. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the, the running nose, uh, just join, have to go through on the running nose. <laughs> okay, running nose later, I will show back the, the screenshot for you guys. Keep having diarrhea. Having diarrhea. Are you breastfeeding mommy? Okay, breastfeeding mommy, you have to watch your, your diet also. Heart stool. Okay, uh, if let's say baby starts stalling, right, then you have to give a bit more uh, fluid. Okay, so now, okay, so tummy is also a very important uh, topic. Let's have a better understanding. Okay, digestion is a very good blend that actually have all, more, uh, a lot of oil in one blend. Okay, it helps with all uh, digestive system. Tummy smoother, improve digest digestion, and also rub on the tummy to ease uh, digestive discomfort, and also reduce bloating and gas and indigestion. Okay, if babies or anyone who have colleagues, constipation, diarrhea, okay, let's talk about uh, constipation. 
okay, and normal uh, digestive uh, support. Always massage the baby tummy anti-clockwise. Oh, sorry, clockwise. Okay, normal use and or, or constipation, colics, uh, clockwise massage. Okay, if the baby is having diarrhea, okay, food poisoning, okay, apply anti-clockwise. Okay, digestion is not just only for digestive system, but it also helps to digest out phlegm. Baby, if you're having very bad phlegm after like during coughing, you know, lungs very congested, uh, a lot of phlegm, okay, what you can do is you can use digestion to apply on the chest to do just now the lungs uh, technique for twina, okay, and followed by uh, clockwise massage, okay, clockwise massage the tummy, okay, it will help the, the body to digest out the, the phlegm and you can actually notice it, the, 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 the pool, right, okay, the, the, the pool will actually have a lot of phlegm, sticky phlegm actually pull out. Okay, digestion is one of the very, very good oil to, to use for children. Okay, there's another oil that I uh, highly recommend. Okay, ginger is very, very good. Why constipation? For me, my girl actually have constipation for two years. Okay, and I've managed to find ginger oil to use it on her. It's because uh, I feel that uh, during the time why I actually find uh, managed to find uh, ginger oil is uh, I noticed that maybe she don't have the urge of going to the toilet. Okay, some children tends to have very weak intestine, means that they cannot feel the urge of going, or maybe they hold when they, they want to go for some reason. Okay, so I actually use ginger oil to warm up my, my, my girl uh, intestine so that she can feel the urge of going uh, without, you know, hoeing or maybe staying in the tummy for a very long time. And it works. Okay, and it works. It helps the, the intestine to actually warm up because when our tummy is cold, right, uh, you will tend to have a lot of, lot of issue. You know, tummy will start to have uh, uh, like indigestion, uh, then start to have very weak stomach. This one you have to take note. Our tummy must always, if you touch your tummy, you can notice that if you don't have any digestive condition, right, your tummy is always warm. Okay, so ginger is one of the very good oil that can be used, okay, for tummy care especially for younger children who have colleagues, okay, indigestion, you cannot eat well, appetite really very bad. Ginger digestion is one of the very good, two oils are very good oil for digestive issue. Okay, it helps to reduce the bloating, gas, and occasion indigestion also. And also helps to reduce nausea. Baby having vomiting, okay, really vomit very well, uh, badly, you know, uh, you can apply some on the chest area also. Okay, and if, they, and if let's say they have very uh, weak uh, respiratory, apply on the chest also, it can help them to warm up their lungs. All right, okay, so that the, these oils are very good. Okay, so now we actually will move on to the technique of how we actually use the oil for twina. Okay, can. So now we're going to move on to the twina, right? Okay. To improve the digestive system, okay, massage this area which is four fingers away from the knee, okay, then you will find a, a point, right, and slowly clockwise massage. You use your, 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 your finger, your thumb to massage, okay, from this area. And I try myself. You, 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 you guys can try yourself, okay. Uh, now, <laughs> if you want, okay. And you will feel that there's this uh, very... Uh, uh, how to say, a uh, very, uh, you will feel the point that you press, right, is the correct one. You will have this very uh, strange, like the, the swan swan, the, the feeling, you know, okay. <laughs> so you can try, okay, uh, apply some oil. This is one of the, the, uh, the, the technique that actually you can use it to improve, okay, the digestive system. Okay, and improve the appetite also. And also these two points, which is you can see the belly button here. Okay, apply the oil, right? What I do is that I actually apply the oil, digestion around this area, clockwise, massage and massage. Okay, it helps the phlegm also. It works together. Works together. Eh? So what you do is clockwise, massage. Okay, for about one minute. Okay, after one minute, you stop. You press these two points. Okay, just side by side from the belly. Press and hold for a while and let go. Okay, 
press a while and let go. Okay, press a while and let go. Okay, for three to four times, then you proceed. Proceed to another step. Later, I answer question, huh? Okay, so uh, these are the way that you help the uh, digestive system. But of course, it's not just only these two steps. All right, okay. For me, I daily actually apply for my baby. Uh, I will do this clockwise massage. Okay, clockwise massage every day. Okay, then I will press on these two point. Okay, and let go three times. Okay, press down, then slowly, then you let go three times. Okay, at least three times. Okay, so we will move on. Clear, I hope it's clear. So, separating the yin yang of the stomach location on the abdomen area just below the ribs. Okay, press thumb outwards gently from both sides, right below the ribs, 100 to 30 times. Okay, for me, uh, for constipation condition, you can do this. Okay, you can do this daily to help the baby, uh, the, the, the teeth to have be better. And also clockwise massage after this step. Okay, after this step, you follow by this step. And if baby is having very bad constipation, right? Uh, if I'm not wrong, is the facing me, if the left side, Okay, the left side of the baby tummy, right? When you press, you will feel that if let's say it's hard, right? That means there's some leftover inside. Okay, so you can actually do the massage for them. You can feel one when you touch. Okay, all right. So this is also one of the very good uh uh separate the yin yang of the stomach that are uh, twin us step. Okay, uh for diarrhea, right? Just a simple anti-clockwise. Remember. Anything to do with uh, diarrhea, food poisoning, the direction is always the, the other side, which is the anti-clockwise. Okay, not clockwise. Huh? Okay. Okay, move on. Okay. So now we're going to share peppermint. Okay, why today I share peppermint? Fever is also one of the very uh, important key for mummies and parents. Okay, when kids are having fever, we cannot sleep well also, right? Because our worry of the temperature getting higher and higher. Peppermint, peppermint is one of the very effective oil to cool down the body temperature, break the fever. Okay, so it promotes healthy respiratory function and clear, clear airway, uh, breathing also. Okay, natural body cooler. Okay, and re uh, uh, repel bugs naturally. It can actually uh, repel spiders, la, ants, la, and mosquito. Okay, it's a natural and uh, mosquito repellent. Okay, so how I actually use uh, peppermint? There are many people saying that hey, peppermint cannot use for younger children. Um, then for me, I was a bit quite puzzled. Why cannot use? You can use, no problem. Just use uh, doTERRA peppermint, we are fine. Because you just basically need to heavily dilute, okay, and apply cautiously. It's fine to use it for children. Even when you go for vaccine and baby is not having any fever, you also can apply it on them, okay, potentially prevent them from uh, having a high temperature. Just apply on the spine and the sole, okay? Spine and the soul. So now I'm going to teach you a very, very uh, important uh, twin. Uh, okay, when something, uh, when during the night, if happened that kids having fever, you can use the same technique. Okay, this technique I find, okay, uh, this technique is really very good. Okay, I personally use it for my kids, my girl. Okay, uh, when she sudden, uh, my boy, okay, sudden have a high fever for no reason. Okay, so during the night, I actually oil him the whole day, a whole night, and I do the twin. Uh, and you, you, I can tell you, after doing the following the step, right, you actually sweat. You can feel that the baby sweat out, okay, which is, you can see the result, okay. So for fever, what are the oils, uh, what are the other oils that can be used, also can use tea tree. Tea tree is one of the very good oil for antibacterial, protects against environments and seasonal threats, smooth skin itchy, okay, irritation, and also fight bacteria, fungus, and viral infection. Okay, so normally I will use tea tree and peppermint. Okay, if not, uh, when they are shower, right, I will actually add in tea tree with Epsom salt. Okay, these are the oils that actually can support. Then these are the recipe that you all can screenshot down for your own reference, uh, reference use. Okay. This can be used for allergy use, okay, any allergy or fever blend. 
Okay, we call it a fever blend also. You can actually apply uh, on the spine and so to assist them when they have any fever. Uh, heatness, uh, heat, heat, heatiness, is it? Is it heatiness? Heatiness, uh, you mean the body heatiness, you can, you can do peppermint also. Okay, you can use peppermint also. Just apply on the sole, okay, and the spine. Okay, all right. So we'll move on. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the technique. This technique is very important. Please screenshot now for your own reference use, uh, ladies. Okay, mummies and daddies. Remember, re screenshot this down. Okay, for your own reference. What you do, the first step is always the, the, the Kai Tian Men, right? This area. Then followed by uh, the, the Tai Yang Xue, this area. The eyebrow to the Tai Yang Xue. So what you do is, you keep, you after following this step, right? Then you can see, okay, you can see the step here. Okay, straight line upwards from the middle finger. You can see, then after that to the brown, uh, the brown to the hairline. Okay, use your thumb. Uh, use your, your both thumb and uh, interchanging the stroke line from bright brown up. Okay, means like, like that. Uh, you know, just like I told, uh, I actually got you from the, the very start. Okay, then after that, following by the stroke here. Okay, the stroke here. Then the very important part is the hand. Okay, is the hand. So it's the left hand. Okay, left hand. All right, then you use your fingers. Two fingers, okay, two fingers, you stroke down. Okay, stroke down. Apply some oil for them, you know, when they do the, the Tai Yang Xue and the Kai Tian Men Xue. Use peppermint. Use the oil to assist for fever one, to actually ap apply on them, okay? But remember, avoid the eye area. So, after that, what do you do? Okay, followed by the hand, keep doing this. I know that this could be a challenging because it needs to be rubbed 400 times. Do as many as you can, okay? Then after that, you will then layer by the oil and oil again when you find that it's too dry, then you keep doing that, okay, for 400 times, okay? After that, finish the whole twin now, right, the step. You will notice that your kids start to perspire, which is a good sign, okay? Oh, that one is 10 drop each. Okay, 10 drop each, this one. Okay, one year old can use, no problem. Okay, the recipe is for one year old, no problem, you can use. Okay, six months and above, you can start using uh, 10 drops each is fine, unless baby have very allergy condition. Okay, but normally 10 drop each for this blend is okay. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay, which one is the cough, which is brief? Okay, brief is one of the oil that actually is the cough. Okay. Diarrhea, okay, just I uh, answer already. How many drops of digestion and ginger to use for baby? Baby, how many months? If let's say six months and uh, below, right? Five drops in a 10 ml roller. Okay, and top up the rest with coconut oil. Hmm. Digestion, can you rub on the chest and the side? Yes, yes. Okay, digestion can apply on the chest, huh? okay, for phlegm and followed by tummy massage, okay? Yes, I already go, go through already. What kind of coconut oil? doTERRA coconut oil, okay? This is our doTERRA coconut oil. I can tell you the quality is really the best, okay? Because it absorbs to our skin really well and it's not, it will not stay, uh, it will not feel oily, okay? You won't feel any oily from your skin after applying and it absorbs really well to the skin, okay? I use uh, actually uh, our doTERRA coconut oil to remove makeup also, okay? Totally natural, using natural uh, solution. So any questions so far? No more, then I'm gonna move. You all can screenshot this down, okay, for your own reference use. Okay.
Let me see, uh, let's go back, see any more I missed out. Anybody want to ask question that I haven't uh, reply you can actually uh, type in the chat, okay? Yeah, constipation have always uh, guessed this one. Okay, constipation, remember, always have to use uh, the oil, like example, digestion, right? You have to use it every diapers change. Take note, uh, every diapers change. Always broken wind tummy, right? Uh, always apply uh, digestion every diapers change, okay? Same twin up point as constipation or diarrhea. Same. Okay, if let's say diarrhea don't have to do any twin up, you just anti-clockwise. Okay, anti-clockwise massage. All right. Apply this oil on baby. Does the new, uh, okay, for babies that uh, if you are drinking milk and if you are breastfeeding, it's okay. Don't have to drink water. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you are applying a lot of oil and you find that very thirsty, right? Maybe your body need to do a lot of detox. So you just drink uh, more, okay? Slightly more for the day. What kind of oil can use for diaper rash? Lavender, okay? Lavender can be used for diaper rash. Stomach wing anti... Stomach wing clockwise massage to ease diarrhea is anti-clockwise. Yes. Yes. Okay, correct. Jesseline. What if both happen? Okay, what if both happen anti-clockwise? Because you have to ease and uh, control the diarrhea first. Okay, it doesn't matter with what uh, you you are uh, for the wind. Okay, which direction is still okay, but it's the diarrhea that we need to control. So we have to use, we have to control the diarrhea first. Okay, all right. So far, any question? No more? No more? Then I'm going to pass the, the, the Zoom to our uh, Fabian to actually have uh, other to share with you guys. Okay, I hope everyone here, I would like to thank everyone from coming to Zoom okay, today. And uh, how about getting better sleep? Huh? Better sleep, right? You can actually use other oil. Okay, like sleeping blend, there are many. But uh, today, the oil that I share is lavender. So if baby is not sleeping well, right, apply on the back of the ear, the spine, and so. So what you do, right, when it comes to soul massage, a lot of people misunderstand that or just apply, then leave it. No, you apply the oil upwards from heel to the toe and do upwards massage for them. Okay, before sleep. It will help them to sleep better. If you have the oil, diffuse it during the night. Okay, to help them to ease, uh, to feel comfortable. All right. Okay, give me a while, huh? Okay, this is the brief that y'all miss, huh? Y'all can take screenshot down. Screenshot down, okay, ladies. Okay, mummies and daddies can screenshot down, okay? The brief, I will count to five. Okay, then I'll move on to the next page. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Then this is the running nose twin now uh, twin uh, twin uh, method, right? To unblock the nose, running nose, and tai yang xue. Okay, remember tai yang xue apply some brief on the uh, on the forehead to do the tai yang xue to uh, to help them to breathe better. Okay, it's uh, for the, the respiratory. Then followed by, okay, I will move on to the next. Give me a, I'll give you all five seconds to screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we move on, which is now regular the lungs chi. This is very important. Uh, if let's say children have weak uh, respiratory, you can do this for them. Okay, screenshot five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just now Ellie, you was asking, right? The direction of the 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 massage for the nose, is it? You can see the arrow here, clockwise. <laughs> yeah, you see clockwise massage, ah. <laughs> okay, so you also can do this if you want. You can actually do this stroke down, downwards. 
downwards, okay, 30 times to 50 times, then you hold on this shear weight, okay, for 20 seconds, slowly let go. Okay, these are also the way of unblock the, the running nose, block nose, okay? Okay, so I will stop sharing already. Okay, let me see. Last question, ah. okay, last question. I see I got missed any one question or not. Okay, maintaining oils uh, for babies, right? I always advise three oil, on guard, breathe, and digestion. Even baby is not having any cough or flu, you still need the oil to support respiratory from getting them uh, uh, to avoid uh, seasonal threat, okay, which is highly recommend to be used. Okay, I do that for my kids. Three oil every day without fear, okay? Then, uh, these are the three oils that I use, okay? Then if baby choke is a bit red, cannot drink milk, then what oil you can use? You can you have to find out the reason. You might need to go and see doctor, is there any infection? Okay, so you have to see what is the reason why you want to drink milk. Is it baby is not well? Okay, if let's say uh, not well, you have to go and check with the doctor or because it's internal, we cannot see. So it's best to actually consult a doctor, then we can actually use the oil to assist. Okay, for coughing the same point regularly, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Coughing, right? What you do? Always apply on the chest from collarbone downwards and do the clockwise massage. Okay. And do the, the regular tip uh, way for your baby, your kids. Uh, you can uh, massage around eight times, you know, eight, ten times, up to you. Okay. And it's a very good um, uh, massage and bonding time for your baby. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, Farah, you can do that, okay, day and night to boost their immunity. And the best oil, uh, the best time to actually boost their immunity huh, is during the night because during night time, uh, our immune system actually drop. So we need some oil to assist also. Brief. HHPC, okay, uh, the third oil is brief, okay. Okay. Diffuse depends on uh, what oil you are using. So as long as you don't uh, uh, diffuse, normally I will use about three drops, breathe three drops and uh, on guard. Okay? All right. Okay, Fabian, I'll pass the, the, the screen to you. 